So today we're preparing for the seventh class in Bootstrap Algebra. Last time, last time, last time we did defining values. So we finally got the define statement. A little rough. The, uh, <clears throat> the slides weren't the for we scheme and I didn't change them all so I had to I changed them during the video uh, so it was a little rough um, th that was the main thing we did was to find values that students did a flag exercise so now we're going to do making game images let's go to the lesson slides We will make a copy. So it's zero seven. I don't know why I wait for this to load in this tab, since I'm just going to close it anyway. Um, but I assume when it's loaded there, then that means it's available in my drive. You know how to define and read contracts which is very uh, cool as far as making programs. Read through the game template on the right. What that means. Set the blank game starter file. No. Okay. This file contains a lot of code. Some of it you haven't seen before. All right, let's see. I'm not sure what that on the right is about. Let's see if it's clearer down here. In this tab. Blank game starter file. Take it together. Launched waste game and completed game design worksheet. Um, I believe that is going to be from a previous lesson. Let's find that. Oops. Nope, don't want waste game, I want bootstrap. Assume they're talking about from either lesson one or two. Yeah, I don't, I wish, you know, we're using a term here, though I'm not sure where that came from. Okay, the one we're trying to find. Um, brainstorm your game. 
do the same thing in the pirate. Um, one. All right, I think it must be from the coordinates one, which means it's this one. No, not this one. It is, where is it? Maybe it's the next one. Uh, there is, all right, let's go back and look at the workbook. Yeah, brainstorm your game is what I would call a game design worksheet. When did they do that? All right, I've got this open in the wrong window. Brainstorm your game. Okay, so it's in the second lesson. Okay, from lesson two. Uh, okay, in the lesson it talks about Students have their workbook pencil and logged it and have completed their game design worksheet. I would like to mention that. All right, we'll come back to it. The, the game template. I don't know why that says on the right. I'm just going to cut it. And line by line, talk with your group about what each line does. All right, then I'm going to do it. Talk about images and fair use. Um, so they're going to go through they're going to go through all right and then I will go through uh, let's do this the right way and open it in um, I 
believe we actually have game template. Uh, that seems to be different from the URL that was here. Copy. Or is it the same? So good. Leave. So I will talk about these things. Uh, when you talk about the capital definitions. All right, and I will use some definitions from uh, that I found before. Bootstrap for background. Let's see what the search looks like. Food. Actually, that was the second one. That's not what was first a minute ago, but it's now. And I remember seeing some things up here. Let's look at this house. Nope. It's more like a background. Let's look at some animals. Animated. That's not good. That's fine. Not sure about that. All right, let's do something better. Like And we want, uh, we can go into settings, advanced, and we can choose usage rights, creative commons licenses. And let's say we want transparent. Choose clip art and transparent. 